Aloha ladies and gentlemen, this is The Surgeon here bringing you a StarCraft 2 commentary. The match is between the Blue Terran Liquid General spawning in the 12 o'clock position and the Red Terran Pain User spawning in the 6 o'clock position. We are in Lost Temple, so this is a 4 player map and they are in cross positions. This game is from MLG Dallas 2010. We are in the finals of the winner's bracket. The winner will go on to represent the winner's bracket in against the winner of the loser's bracket, as this is a double elimination tournament. A little bit about where these players came from. Pain user did beat Liquid Tyler to reach the finals of the winner's bracket, and Liquid General did beat Liquid Rhett to reach the finals of the winner's bracket. Notice we had three of the four semi-finalists for the winner's bracket on Team Liquid. So props to Team Liquid for representing three out of the four positions. Okay, we have a 12 barracks from Liquid General as well as a 12 barracks from Team Liquid. Pain user sending out a scout. No scout yet from Liquid General. So this will be a TVT matchup. Let's see where the builds will differ. Looks like we have identical builds with General only slightly ahead on his gas. Pain user scouting to the two o'clock position where general is not so he will be scouting general next at the 12 o'clock base and general is scouting the wrong direction towards the eight eight o'clock position and finding out that pain user is not there and will be scouting pain user at the six o'clock base both players gain the orbital commands and one marine a marine out for General, let's see what kind of micro he has. No micro necessary because he does run the SCV away. And he, ooh, squeaks out there. Pain user squeaks out with three life on his SCV. And his SCV is full health and he does know where pain user, pain user is. General putting down his factory as well as pain user. Uh, General throwing down another marine where while. Uh, Pain user is not. He is opting for his tech lab. General did throw his down in second gas a little bit earlier than pain user. Pain user sniping off the SCV that was at the watchtower with two marines. A reaper coming from pain user. So let's see what he can do to scout or harass with that. Let's see if he goes for nitro packs doesn't look like nitro packs will be researched maybe just a scout reaper both players uh, with their measly, measly two and one unit at the watchtowers just making sure that nothing is no early pushes are coming a hellion out for both players oh prefernal igniter for liquid general Let's see if he pumps out more than one Hellion. And yes, he does. The second one on the way. First one is going out to the field. Let's see if he is spotted. At the same time, here comes Pain User's Hellion. And the Hellion meets the Reaper by Pain User. So let's see what General's response is. He's running back. He picks off the Reaper with his force inside his main. So very unuseful Reaper there for Pain User. While General will be repairing his Hellion and Pain User looks like he will be sending back his Hellion for a repair as well. A little bit micro there. Not too bad. Okay. Second barracks going up for Pain User as well as he already has a star port. Looks like General will be switching his starport onto his reactor as soon as uh, his first drop comes out. 
On the production tab, Pain user has a bunch of things while Jinro is waiting to get his Viking out. And now he throws down a turret and a turret defensively for I have to assume he thinks Banshees are coming, although there are no Banshees out on the field yet for Pain user. Not even a tech lab on his starport. Only a dropship out. Three marines and a tank for Pain user while General will be coming in with four Hellions and a dropship on the backside of Pain user's base. Pain user does not see this. Here comes the Hellions. They will be going to... Ooh, getting tank shot on the Hellions. Ooh, they have the infernal, uh, the blue flame taking out a couple SCVs there. He knows he can't do any more damage, so he's pulling out wise move by Jinro. That's a really nice siege position for Pain User, knowing that maybe there would be a drop on him. But it would have been nice if he had some scouting supply depots or turrets out here, or like this Marine. But he did not, and he did lose a couple of CVs. Let's look at the units tab, where Jinro is ahead by two SCVs. They both have two meals on the field. Income should be favoring Jinro, but it's about evens for both. Jinro throwing down his expansion at the natural. While we have the expansion already made for Pain User inside his base, I already missed that. And here it goes, he will be landing it. Although the Vikings will be seeing this expansion really quick. Let's see if he is able to prevent this expansion from going down. He might have to drop those Vikings. No. Oh, he will engage and wisely pulls us out. Good defense by Pain User. Let's see if he transfers some SCVs over. Let's look at the unit production tab. We have stim coming from pain user and an add-on, a reactor add-on for his barracks. So production facilities are a lot greater here for pain user while Jinro did get the reactor for his starport instead of a tech lab. Another drop coming in here for Jinro. He does the siege tank is not in range as the Hillians were too close while it was sieged up. Although the Viking has spotted the dropship and might actually take it out. So he will unload his cargo and run back towards his base. And Pain User was able to pick off that dropship in midfield without losing his one Viking. Although here comes Jinro to try and find that one Viking. Pain User wisely will be running with it. Let's look at the army tabs. Exactly 66 supply for both players. Pain user slightly ahead with 72 now. Income tab, pain user ahead, but now harvester count is pretty much even at this point. Units tab, looks like general is ahead with four, with four tanks to three tanks for pain user. And he is ahead three to two on Vikings. While he, but he does have five marauders on the field while general has zero so that may be the difference if they decide to clash now vikings just snooping around scouting out nothing to be seen or he's pushed back by pain users units at the tower pain user loads up four marines into his dropship will be doing a backside attack although general does have some supply depots out on the edge for scouting while his front is heavily fortified with five tanks and a bunker. We'll be repairing his Vikings, which is always a good sign from pro gamers. They repair all their tanks, all their Vikings, all their mechanical units as much as they can. Hellions as well. Here comes the drop. He will go as far into the base as he possibly can. General has not seen this yet. He drops his Marines, takes out one SCV, two SCVs go down, three SCVs go down. 4 SCVs go down, 5 SCVs go down, Medivac still alive, Viking getting sh pushed away, backup Vikings coming through, they, he did lose 1 Viking, and General cleans it up, but not without the loss of 5 SCVs, and he is down 5 SCVs to Pain User at the moment, and with the loss of mining time at his main. Pain User uh, does have a Viking on his northwest edge of his main base to scout any drops which is very good use of one viking at the moment 
All of Pain User's units are at the Zonaga Tower, while General is now moving his units to the tower. General will be trying to break his gold expansion, while Pain User has already broken his gold expansion. So we're looking into a macro game. No player is really 